Now then, uh, sorry I haven't been around again. As you will know, I've been looking after Bongo for the past week now. He's getting a lot better. The vet says ear is improving a lot faster than they thought it would do. And uh, if you can hear some whining behind me, that's my computer. It's on right now, so I'll make it all the noise. So hopefully that's... So I'm planning on get, making the videos right now, right after I've done this and this. And there goes my phone beeping at me. Should have been on silent before I did this. Really, shouldn't I? But yeah, he's doing a lot better now. He's out of the plastic cone. We got him an inflatable one, which you can see here. He's not... With this one, he's not just stood around just looking hopeless and lost. Like, not what do I do? He's actually be able to move around and everything. So I've been taking like the week off, look after him, clean his ear and everything. Like, make sure he's... Fully a okay. He's got a new paint there. Uh, he's on new painkillers now, which are the like dog equivalent of morphine, so he's a little bit out of it. So, and he doesn't really want to leave my side. I think he's a lot like me. Doesn't want to be, you know, out of control of his own body. To <laughs> the point, he's been following me around most of the time. He's currently moving around behind the camera right now. I'm just uh, worried he's going to knock it with his cone on. But yeah, it's just like an inflatable cone, really. Just. You know, you pump it up with air, like with your mouth, just do it that way, and lo and behold, it stops him doing that. Because I woke up the other day, and we had to take off his plastic cone because he couldn't sleep in it. And I woke up with him, let's go to my phone again, and I woke up with him next to me trying to pull it out of his back paw, trying to pull his uh, catheter out of his back paw. So we had to get him this, put this on him, now he has to sleep in it and everything, but he's able to fall asleep in it, it's, everything is fine. Out the woods, we did have a mad panic because when he went to go have some painkillers and some antibiotics, we got him home and he suddenly started shaking. Like he was just cold, he could not get warm. So I had to rush him back in again and everything. So that's fine, Dandy. This video was a bit rushed, I'm a bit rushed. I've just got out of the shower. Mouth is dry, I need to rehydrate myself. It's insanely hot in England! It shouldn't be like this! You okay? Okay, and now I'm getting really dehydrated. You can see from the tan in me, I've got like Farmer Joe tan. So, yeah, that was just a quick update. I'm gonna like start recording Visage once it starts getting a little bit darker because I really want it to be dark when I play that game. Because chapter two's out now and I done chapter one and I loved it. So I'm looking forward to chapter two. Apparently it's a granny again. So I need to find the gif I was using for Resident Evil 7, which is Daffy Duck opening door to Granny from the Looney Tunes again, punching the gut. That's going to be fun. <laughs> I was like, the first one was a little girl. This is now a grandmother. Should be fun. Looking forward to it. I've got a bunch of indie games to do. I'll be able to get back to streaming tomorrow, to probably tonight as you're watching this. Because as of tonight, while I was recording, I was going to come back streaming. But I found out there's a firework display going on right by my house. So we are not really too happy about that. It's an annual thing, but it's more, I'm unhappy about it because Bongo, more than anything else, is a bit stressed out because of this. He may be high on morphine, but he still gets overly stressed out. So, there we go. That's an update and everything. I've been perfectly fine. It's just him. I've just been wanting to look after him. He is my baby, don't forget. He is my baby. Same as Mimi, who's currently asleep on the bed and couldn't give a flying fuck right now. But he is my baby, and I've been looking after him. He's been my main priority. So, if I go off for, like, the get well and everything for Bongo, he's doing perfectly well. Should be another week, then he can have the cannula out, and then it's just re-healing it back up then. It's, like I said, it's doing really, really well. The vets are stupidly happy with it. So, there we go. So, thank you all so much for watching. As per usual. Okay, Google. Tell me a joke. Okay, here you go. What do you call a caveman's fart? A blast from the past. <laughs> okay, that one was good. I've never heard that one before. And I'm normally, you know, quite high up and up, kept on dad jokes. Yeah, that was everything, guys. Thanks all for the get well on Bongo. See you all next time. Bye bye.